Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and I'm also the owner of Carter Law Firm in Phoenix. And today, I don't want to talk to you as an attorney. I want to talk to you as a person. You know, every week I have to figure out what am I going to talk about on my video this week and usually there's something legal worth talking about. But today I came across a story that has a legal angle, but I got to take a better angle than that. So I saw a story this morning on Mashable about Retea Parsons, a teenager in Canada who took her own life. And here's what happened. So apparently when she was 15 years old, she was raped by four people. And during the attack, someone took a photograph and someone thought that was a good idea to share it on the internet and it was spread around. So not only what this person attacked, but now she's humiliated by the fact that it's going, you know, according to the news, viral. Now, if that wasn't bad enough that this poor girl was raped and humiliated, she started receiving text messages from people either asking for sex or calling her a slut. And so I suspect if she even, as she tried to you know, get on with her life, she couldn't because she's constantly being reminded about it. So last week she uh, hung herself and her family took her off life support. And it makes me so angry that these situations still exist where people are taking their own lives because they're being bullied. And I just want to scream at everybody involved in this situation from the alleged attackers to the person who took the photograph to the person who thought it was appropriate to share it with anybody to the people who thought it was okay to bully this poor girl and constantly remind her of the fact that she was attacked. What the fuck is wrong with you? They say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never, words will never hurt me. Bullshit. Words kill. These people's words probably directly led to this girl taking her own life. So I sincerely hope that anybody who did anything wrong in this situation is stepping back and looking at themselves and how they contributed to this girl's death. And that anyone watching this story or this video sees how much damage their words can cause and that they make the commitment not to be one of those people. And if you see it happening, call the person out on it. These deaths are preventable. So I feel like I'm starting to beat a dead horse. So to Retea Parsons family, my sincerest condolences for your loss. I wish this didn't happen to you. It shouldn't happen to any child or any family. Um, to other people who may be suffering right now, who are being bullied, I am so sorry. But suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary situation. And there are resources and people out there who can help you. So please, if you are desperate, instead of taking your own life, please reach out to whoever you need to to get the help you need. So I think that's all I have to say about this. So take care, and I will talk to you later.